Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is the March 2019 update for Adobe XD. Each month, Adobe releases an update for Adobe XD, and with that comes new features and changes to the program, so I like to make these monthly videos to cover the update so nobody misses any of the new features. So for the March update, we have seven new things to cover. Before we dive right into it, let me know down in the comments what your most wanted feature for Adobe XD is, and hopefully you're gonna see it on this list today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first feature we have this month is editable vectors in Illustrator. So now we can copy and paste vector content from XD to Illustrator and then even back to XD with none of it being converted to pixels and all remaining editable. So here I'm working with these switches on this card that I'm building. So I'm gonna grab these elements and I'm gonna copy them and head over to Illustrator. And here I have a style guide that I'm building. So I'm gonna paste in these switches and we'll just add them over here below this button section. In here, now that I'm here, I notice that I want to update this button color. So I'm gonna double click, so you can notice that I can still edit it, and I'm gonna change the color to something else. So let's go with a nice reddish pink. And I much prefer this, so I'm just gonna copy this and head back over to XD and paste it in, and I can add it here as a variant, and I can even test it out and see how it looks. So this allows us to seamlessly transition back and forth between Adobe XD and Illustrator with ease. The next feature is selecting objects across groups. So this is mainly a shortcut that they've added to make selecting objects inside of groups even easier. So here I have a navigation group. I have my hamburger menu group with some text and a drop down icon and even an avatar. So the old way of selecting something inside of a group was double clicking to get inside the group and then clicking on the element you want, which in this case is the avatar. Well, now we can do this with a shortcut. So I can hold Command Shift, or if you're on PC, you can hold Control Shift and select the avatar, and it immediately selects that avatar image inside of our group. And you can do the same thing with multiple elements as well. So here I have this avatar selected. I hold down Command Shift, and I can select this scar inside of its grouping as well. So you can grab multiple elements in different groups, and you can also grab a single element inside of a group just by holding Command Shift. So that's gonna make navigating complex documents a lot easier. Next up, we have changes to mark for export. If I select one image or multiple images, I can mark them for export right here on the right side menu by checking mark for export. Also, if you import a Photoshop or Illustrator document that has images, they will automatically be marked for export when they're loaded into XD. Another new feature we have is drag gesture in the web browser. So now you can see the drag gesture animation when you're viewing your prototypes and design specs in your browser. Next, we have some usability testing control changes. So here in my prototype, you can see I have all of my artworks linked up together and I want to share this for review. And now we have these two check boxes, which is show hotspot hints. I can uncheck that and show navigation controls and I can uncheck that and then I can create my link. So here in my web browser, I don't have any navigation or hints to how I navigate this. So the reason this is useful is if you're wanting to test a prototype out with your users to see if anything's confusing and get actual feedback, you don't want any hints leading them through so you can actually get information that is useful to you. So now I can see if the user can actually navigate this on their own without having any trouble. Next up, we have improvements to font management. So now if you're missing a font when you load up an Adobe XD file, instead of it giving you the message in blue at the bottom saying you're missing X amount of fonts, it's going to automatically check and see if that font is on Adobe fonts. And if it is, it's going to activate it so that you do not have missing fonts anymore. In this case, this font is not available on Adobe fonts. This is called Lato, and since it's not available, it can't automatically sync it. So I can right click and I can select replace font, and then I can choose any font I would like to replace this with, and it will easily update it for me so that I'm not missing any more fonts. And the final feature we have for March 2019 is improved Jira integration. Go from design to development faster. In addition to Jira Software Cloud, teams can now access shared XD designs on Jira Software Server and Jira Software Data Center. So with that, 
That is all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new features to Adobe XD that they added in March of 2019. So that's it for this update coverage video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite new addition to the program is. And also let me know if your most wanted feature made it into this month's update. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.